G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. Um, so today, I, I told you I was going to do this when I first got the camera. Today we're going to do lawnmower cam. Um, we're going to do a front lawn update. Uh, and I'm going to screw the, I'm going to stick the camera on the lawnmower. I'm not sure where I'm going to mount it yet, but I'll figure that out. We'll see how good this video stabilization really is. Um, on the microphone front, I ended up just ordering a new microphone. I needed the little bracket which mounts the microphone. Um, I ordered like a $10 one from China and it's not due till like mid next month apparently. So I decided to order a similar mic to what I had, but it's a bit cheaper. The official, the proper road bracket that I was missing, um, they wanted like $70 just for the bracket and I could buy a whole new camera for $50, uh, not camera, microphone for $50. So I just ordered the new microphone. So I just want to let the patrons kind of know what their money's going towards. Um, this vlogging rig, like it's, it's out of control. So tonight, well, last night, I'm going to be putting up my first Patreon official um, vlog. So I'll probably do one a week. I'm thinking about skipping YouTube one day a week and it'll be a, the Patreon day. Um, at this point, th that day might be Mondays. I'm not sure yet. Um, obviously, yesterday being Monday, I did post a video, but... <clears throat> I get S Sunday, so basically I'm a day ahead in my video, so what I record on Sunday might go on the Patreon. Um, and the inside tank, so the, the inside tank is going to be Patreon official. I don't think I'll feature any of that tank on YouTube anymore. So basically what will happen is $3 a month you get everything you get four videos a month um, so it's like it's less than a dollar a video um, I think that's fair but I don't think that's asking too much um, and if you, the people who pay nine dollars a month they're gonna go into a competition every month uh, I'm not sure what the prizes are gonna be yet it'll be based on what the turnover for the month is I'll say put like 50% of the turnover towards the prize, 50% of the turnover towards the channel. Um, but I'll keep that fully transparent between us. Um, I'm not going to hide the like money side of it. We'll keep that open for the time being. Um, Alright, so let's do this camera. Um, I actually just need to quickly... Hang on, where's the screen on? I just need to quickly feed these guys. Uh, I'm trying to get as much food as possible into them. I'm actually thinking about uh, getting some auto feeders. Uh, probably the Eheim ones because they're the best but uh, they're $100 each so that'll happen when it happens. Not this week, that's for sure. But in the meantime, I've got some old flake I'm trying to use up um, and I'm f trying to feed them three times a day. This one's a bit smaller, so I try to break the flake up a bit better. Um, but I think I'm going to put the flower horns on aquaponics starter pellets. I, I, I used to feed aquaponics starter pellets to everything. Um, even my adult cichlids. I think I've shown you guys before. So this was going to be a quick lawn video. Oh, for those of you who've seen this tub before, I cleaned it out. There's no more food at the bottom. Um, but it's still unorganized enough that I can't find the food I wanted to show you guys. Oh, here it is. Can you read that? Aquaponics Aquaculture Starter. I used to have that in one millimeters three millimeters and 0.5 millimeters but I need to get some more it's not on eBay anymore I need to figure out where to get it from so my point was I want to get the 0.5 millimeter 
and I just want to load the flower horns with it like feeding five times a day with the auto feeder and we'll see how fast we can grow these guys um, they're not on auto water change yet that'll be coming up in the next few videos um, I don't know how I'm going to run it yet so I need to plumb into this pipe and run that run the water over to those IBCs <clears throat> but I don't know what pipe I'm going to plumb into it I'm thinking about putting like a T there with a, a 20 mil a 20 mil T running off so we're only running a 20 mil pipe along it's going to have to be tucked in somewhere along there and it, and it just come to like here and stop here and then just have four mil lines running off there. I'm not sure yet. I haven't made a decision on that one, so leave it with me. All right, before further ado, let's jump to the whippersnipper camera. All right, guys. So for all the new people that, all the new subscribers to the channel, I just got fuel everywhere. Um, this is my 20 inch Victor lawnmower that I got for $180. Um, it was broken and, well it wasn't even broken, it was in pieces. Uh, I guess you could class it as broken. The, the carby was blocked up. And for some reason, the person who I bought it off had decided to strip the whole clutch assembly apart to, um, to, I don't know what to do. They hadn't even touched the motor or pulled anything off the motor. They had just completely stripped the side of that. Now some of you might be saying, oh yeah, that's easy, just putting the clutch back together. I've never worked in a mower in my life and it was quite a mission. I ended up finding the blue or like the assembly thing online and we put it back together and got it running and it's been touch wood pretty good so far. Um, from, what I, from what I can tell it's literally like brand new. I'm pretty sure what happened is some rich bastard bought this mower and then it sat in their garage, never used. The the fuel that was in the fuel in the bowl has settled and de and dried out in the carby, blocking all the little channels in the carby. Um, it, it it didn't come with a catcher, but so like the blade looked brand new when I got it, and like it, there's no. This is after me. I've had it for like a year, and I've been using it. So, like, it was just in such good condition, and I, I just still can't believe I got it for $180. I was ready to put it back together. I, put a, I was expecting to spend $500 all together with a new motor and everything, and it cost me $180 for that, and I got the catcher for, like, 30 bucks. But it is rusted out, so we do need to plate that up at some stage. I'll probably just pop rivet something in there. I can't be bothered welding anything in. Or should I weld it? I don't know. Welding's probably quicker than pop... Uh, who knows? Yeah, we'll probably just tack weld a piece of sheet metal in there. I've got a welder, so... Anyway, let's get this mower cam going. Alright guys, I've got no idea how well this is going to work. This lawnmower... Obviously the lawnmower shakes quite a bit, so... Let's just see what happens. I'm actually excited about editing this video. I really want to see what it looks like. Alright guys, so it's just more in the front lawn and I noticed a few brown patches. I was thinking to myself, why are they brown? And I remember. So, for you guys who don't know, my retic runs off um, water storage tanks. Uh, and that's got like a pre-filter on it. Sometimes the pre-filter gets clogged up. Like three mornings, ago, uh, not three, probably four or five mornings ago, um, when I was leaving for work, the sprinklers weren't working. And I, know, I knew then that the filter needs cleaning. 
but I didn't have time, so I turned the retic off completely. And I've just realised while I was mowing the lawn. So we need to go have a look at those filters, that filter. But before we do, we might as well throw some product on the lawn and then we'll do a water after we've thrown the product on. So I'll show you what we're going to put on today because a couple of you have asked me about what products I'm using. Alright, so I've got a Hortex sprayer which is from the big green shed. Um, they're pretty inexpensive. They're handy, but it is a pain in the ass how small it is. I wouldn't mind getting a better one, but or modifying this one even. I'm trying to undo it with one hand, it's not working. Alright, so what we've got... I, I don't know exactly what everything does. So, we've got EcoWet. It's a wetting agent. Everyone knows what a wetting agent is. Um, I'm trying to go really hard on the wetting agent this year because my front lawn dries out so fast. Every year it dies in summer, so this year I'm going hard. Stimuliser. Um, it's, a, it's acid. I don't really know what it does. Helps teach. Combat root rot, stimulate roots, reduce wilt. Anyway, you only use like five mils of that. And the reason I've got it is because this came in a complete package with fertilizer, which is under there. Anyway, back to this. So Activate Mate is a liquid fertilizer. And then Seaweed Secrets is like sea salt, but on steroids. Uh, are you, these are, I'm putting these three on fortnightly at the moment um, they can uh, from what I've read they can be up to monthly but I'm going fortnightly because my lawn's trying to recover from scalping still um, it's taking a long time to recover I think in short I went way too low uh, that's what that's what that is anyway so let's get this bottle mixed up I'm gonna need two hands so we'll put the camera down all right so I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty just put my thumb in the bottle and shake it all up. Um, I've got some old like a power feed or something from the big green shed. I threw a bit of that in to top the bottle up just to get rid of it because it's it annoys me it's sitting on the shelf. But I don't really want to throw it out. Um, it's sort of stuff I bought before I learnt a bit more about how crap the products are from Bunnings. Um, we want this mixed up pretty well because otherwise we're going to get like uneven green patches on the lawn. If you look through here, it's, there's, I wouldn't say it's dead, but there's a, a, way more brown than there was to, a week ago. Um, there, and, oh, that, this bit here, I've actually poisoned the kaikuyu shooting through. Um, I, it's not the proper product, but... It's kind of affected the cooch a little bit, but not too much. Um, there's a product I want for the Kaiku to get rid of it completely, but it's like $200 for 500 mils. So it's on the back burner at the moment. We're just trying to spot spray it at the moment. Um, this was going to be a quick video, but as usual, it's dragging out. This stuff, I want to get as even as possible. So what I like to do, walk across one direction and then go back the other direction. So we'll walk up and down next. Alright guys, so this is the filter that I'm worried about. Yeah, look at that. All that fine particle on it. Actually, hold on a minute. That should be flowing heavily. I wonder how much water is in the IBCs. Oh yeah, and guys, my float thing didn't work. Yeah, the IBCs are full. That should be flowing, which leads me to believe that this is clogged up. So we might have to pull that apart. As usual, shit escalated quickly. So I didn't have... So one of the uni joints was stuck. I didn't have like monkey wrench or whatever you call it sorry plumbers i can't remember the name of it i think it's monkey wrench so i got out a clamp and went to like undo it with a clamp now i realize a clamp's a bad idea 
because the clamp actually like pulls it tighter but I was using all my force um, and next thing I, I actually broke the coupling ripped it straight out so now we're gonna have to fix that all right guys oh and girls I want to tell you guys something and girls there's 1.4 percent viewers are female this is exciting for me I spent months on 100 percent male um, I know there has been female viewers from the start but it was not enough to ma even make up one percent which I found kind of sad I wasn't happy with that so 1.4 percent is better than nothing anyway so I think it was the cl not j the clamp was pulling it in not just that um, this was like had all this grime in there and even once I ha got it loose it was still really hard to get that off but that looks like it's heaps better now um, I've got my tap lubricant out you guys have heard me say it a hundred times get yourself a tube of this it comes in so handy uh, I'll be putting some on the uni joints when I put it back together and I might even chuck some on the thread so the so it's a bit better because that was horrible anyway we need to open this up and see what's going on inside all right so I'm looking inside this it's pretty much spotless um that's obviously not what was causing my issue now I've got to remember how to stack this it does go a certain way um look at that there's like a little bit of brown muck in there but definitely not enough to clog this thing up look how I think I stacked this in the wrong order I can't remember got all these like little bits of sponge blocking all the spare holes um, anyway I'm stoked that that's clean I've dropped the o-ring in the sand um, shout outs to my buddy Scott Clayton he actually gave me this filter for free like probably seven years ago maybe a bit less I might be exaggerating there he gave it to me a very long time ago uh, I've put the bottom one in the wrong spot all right I need two hands guys I'll get back to you now I'm gonna load this back up with glue I put heaps of the um, sealant on that and I put it on the thread as well so it's easy to get off next time um, we want glue on here as well you can actually see I had that much force this little pipe here is actually a little bit bent I really should replace that as well but this pipe works under vacuum not pressure so I can't see it being an issue but generally in my life anything that isn't an issue becomes an issue um hang on i'm gonna put this down for a sec sorry guys i was having a good old chat with you then and then i was thinking about it and i was like oh we've got um wet glue i was trying to put on um that still doesn't look that tight we'll get this one on i might try to tighten that a bit more get it in a bit further We could actually probably just turn it on and then let the pump suck it on. I don't know. Probably a dumb idea. It's probably not moving now. Yeah, I think it's pretty stuck. Stuck, not suck. Alright, I heard water movement in there. That's good. Um, I guess we'll try to turn the retic on. All right, here it goes, guys. That took ages. I ended up stopping recording because I literally, it took five minutes on and off with me. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I'm gonna get wet. I'm sitting on a sprinkler. Um, so that that's just on top because it gets algae in it No run <sighs> All right 
Retex running. Full tilt. Ah. Oh. It needed that, guys. Look, the re the sprinklers are actually working better than they were last time we did that. The retic repair. So that hasn't been running at 100% for a long time. All right, guys. I hope you don't mind a bit of lawn chat. Obviously, I put it in the thumbnail. So if you don't like lawn chat, then you should have not clicked on the video in the first place. And if you're a diehard fan, the ones that watch every day, no matter what the video is, I love you guys. You're my favorite. And what else? That's about it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more. Peace out.